Joe, we are really in for some dangerous heat this week. Yeah, and we'll gradually see some relief, but Blair, it is not going to come until Friday at least because oh we're going to be looking gosh. at temperatures anywhere from over 100 degrees starting tomorrow. We already saw it earlier today mm -hmm. and into Wednesday potentially. But Wednesday might be the cooler day, but still we're looking at some dangerous heat. Uh, lots of watches and warnings to talk about. Let's go outside right now. You can see from our Wells Fargo camera. It's a quarter after 11 o'clock and we're seeing a temperature of 82 degrees. We're not going to see much of a cool down. Now we'll see overnight lows drop down right around the upper 60s and low 70s. But that's the other thing. It's going to be absolutely hot during the afternoon and not much relief heading into the overnight hour. So extremely hot the next three days. I should say over the last four days, if you conclude uh, today in that mix highs tomorrow, get this 105 to 110 degrees up and down the I-5 corridor. Uh, Troutdale, you saw 105 this afternoon, which is a record. Uh, you could get a little bit hotter than that heading into tomorrow. High fire danger. We talked talked about this at the top of the show. The winds will be really picking up throughout uh, tomorrow and into the afternoon hour. So uh, we have a chance to see, of course, record breaking temperatures for our daytime highs, but also record breaking consecutive days with temperatures 100 or hotter. Now the record is five days in a row that was set back in 1941 from July 13th to the 17th. Four days in a row. That was August 7th through the 10th in 1981, and we've done three days in a row. That's not uncommon, but what is uncommon is to see the potential of three four days a row with temperatures 100 degrees or hotter for August. Now, if this was mid July would be, of course, record breaking potential too, but we don't have the high sun angle like we do right now. It's starting to get a little bit lower, so we're looking at temperatures for tomorrow of 106. The record is 102 uh, heading into Tuesday. Yeah, we're going to be looking at the chance for seeing another day with temperatures anywhere from 102 to 105 potentially and maybe 100 degrees heading into Wednesday afternoon. The other thing I want to touch on is the winds. They'll re picking up throughout parts of the metro area and throughout the Cascades and especially along the coast late tomorrow morning and into the afternoon with wind speeds anywhere from 25 to 30 miles an hour. And because of that, red flag warning is going to be in place throughout the Oregon Cascades as well as the metro area. The other thing that will be in effect, heat advisory throughout the coast range, highs over along the beaches could be close to 90 degrees. Again, I've talked about this all afternoon and all weekend. The metro area is just going to be seeing some extremely hot conditions. Again, anywhere from 105 to 110. We're all also be seeing a little bit of some smoke and haze kind of move into the parts of the uh, metro area tomorrow morning. Be very thick throughout Lane County where some of those wildfires are burning. So if you can avoid spending any time outside, that's a good idea because the hottest days are going to be tomorrow and Tuesday as this ridge of high pressure just continues to grow in strength. Now again, it'll start to kind of cool off a little bit by the later part of this week, but that's not going to be coming until Friday and come Friday. We're going to be looking at highs close to 85 degrees and I think after tomorrow I can't come soon enough for a lot of people up in the mountains. You'll be seeing temperatures in the low 90s tonight. Clear skies overnight low of 70 degrees and as we head into the metro area for tomorrow, we're going to be looking at a, a good chance for some record breaking temperatures 109 throughout parts of southwest Washington. Yeah, some of these numbers are going to be unheard of for late August. 106 is the high for your Monday. This will be 104 on Tuesday, 100 Wednesday Day and a little bit cooler for Thursday, but some locations Blair could be still sitting at 95 to 100 on Thursday, much cooler heading into Friday and into the first part of next weekend. So the beginning of this week, really make sure to stay safe. Check yeah. on those family and friends. Yeah.